Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Aliens and UFOs video. I thought I would mix this one in here while I'm continuing to wrap up your mysteries and disappearances suggestion. Plus, a lot of people still love my Aliens and UFOs video, so as a treat, why not? Let me go ahead and mix another one in here. This one has to do with a very interesting and fascinating case that was originally presented on reddit.com, but then took me to another link, which I'll talk about here when it comes to this case. It apparently has to do with this. There were some aliens, some Venusians no less, that visited an alien and UFO convention back in 1954. How about that? Truth is stranger than fiction, right? Not only that, but they were photographed as well, and there's still some strong belief that they were indeed truly aliens there, in disguise, of course, as humans, and then there's others that believe that they were actually truly humans. It's hard to say which side I'm going to take on here because the angles on both are pretty even so I'm gonna leave it up for yourselves to decide but it has to do with this in fact you're looking at a picture of them now it's the UFO convention of 1954 and the Venusians that apparently visited it so let's go ahead and let's talk about that here and again I'd love to hear what your thoughts and comments on it are afterward so here's what happened in 1954 August 7th and 8th there was a UFO convention that was occurring there at a uh, Mount Palomar in the United States and this was at a location that if you wanted to get even more specific is about an altitude of almost two kilometers tall. There was going to be a lot of prominent people there that were going to be holding some kind of panels. A guy by the name of George Adamski, another one named Truman Betterham, another one named Daniel Fry. It was going to be big. There was going to be thousands of people that were there. And more importantly, besides alien and UFO enthusiasts, there were going to be also journalists, researchers, and then also FBI agents. How about that? It was going to be a big convention, and a lot of people were going to share their own UFO encounters and so on. There was going to be, in fact, a guy there too by the name of George Adamski. He was going to be the one that was going to talk about the planet Venus and about the Venusians. These are aliens that apparently come from the actual planet Venus, and then they infiltrate, according to him, our society, and they also work with us, and cohabitate with us, basically roam around and then be able, or be, be able to essentially hide in plain clothing, in plain sight. That way, you can kind of think that somebody looks a little strange, but otherwise you're not going to 100% just accuse them of being an alien, like an extraterrestrial alien. But lo and behold, that very, very first day of that convention, in fact, this was more towards the evening slash night time. That's when a woman actually stood out among the attendees. She was there. She was there, in fact, with two other men. But she was, quote unquote, unusually beautiful, very exotic, very tall. She had this very light skin, uh, blonde hair. And then also the most distinctive features were this. She had these very intense eyes that were considered just almost solid black. And she also had this formation along the sides of her cranium that um, looked prominent, at least when compared to her other features. In fact, you're seeing a picture of her here. She stated her name was Dolores Barrios. And she was there with two other people who you're looking at a picture of here. These two other guys, one of them was named Donald Morand and the other one was named Bill Jackmart. The reason why we know of their names is because there was a guest book that was there within the convention and they had basically signed it all together. Dolores Barrios had stated that she was a fashion designer from New York and then the other guys were stated as living as man as musicians in Manhattan Beach, California. So they didn't stand out too much, those two guys at least. One of them just had standard sunglasses. They both seemed to have almost like these bowl haircuts. They didn't necessarily have much discernible features, but 
Definitely the woman, uh, Dolores, she was absolutely someone that a lot of people couldn't help but notice. They couldn't help but see how striking her features were, her beauty, how she looked like standard beauty, but very exotic, like almost otherworldly. And that started a conversation amongst the attendees. In fact, a rumor started to spread, ironically enough, hearing uh, from Mr. Adamski about his talk about Venusians and about them roaming about that now in their crowd, these three were Venusians. That's what they were saying. That's what the attendees were slowly spreading from one ear to another that they were actually aliens in disguise, Venusians hiding in plain sight. What better way than within the convention itself? And the reason why people believe this as well is because eventually someone, a curious attendee, actually asked Dolores outright. And they asked her um, if she was from the planet Venus, but she said no. But in further conversations, they asked her why she was here. And then she stated because they're interested in the subject, obviously, like about the aliens and UFOs topics being discussed. And then they asked her if they believed in flying saucers. And she said yes. And then uh, finally, they asked her again if they came from Venus. And then she said yes, they came from Venus. So who knows why she changed her discussion earlier about not being from Venus, but then saying that she was. But either way, though, that's when people started to realize something was weird. Something was coming up if that if 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 they were suddenly there and, and and it looked like they were from another place like a completely other world and it happened to have these questions asked and what further caused fuel to the fire was this there was a journalist remember i was mentioning earlier that they were there in attendance as well a journalist from brazil who was curious and wanted to capture a photograph of them, but all three of them flat out refused. They did not want to be pictured at all. And in fact, they were a little bit annoyed at this fact and as well as being continuously referred to as Venusians. But he was able to be able to take like, I don't know if it was sneak shots or if it was something else, but he was able to actually on the second day capture a photograph of them. They realized what was happening and then they suddenly left. Some people stated they left in a real hurry. Others stated that they actually ran away. Either way, they went to a forest type area. It must have been nearby the convention itself. And when that happened, they were gone. And then lo and behold, shortly after, a UFO was spotted taking off in that vicinity. So they weren't seen afterwards. The UFO wasn't seen afterwards either. And unfortunately, there was no evidence associated with the UFO. Like nobody, I guess, amongst the entire crowd there was able to take either a clear picture or any picture at all. But otherwise, that was it. That was everything associated with these quote-unquote Venusians, Dolores Barrios, and then the two guys associated with her, Donald Moran, that Bill Jackmart, and that was their initial contact or their um, attendance there within the UFO convention. But yes, isn't that interesting? I would love to hear what your thoughts are on it. Uh, again, looking at their pictures and then seeing what they said and then their interactions, they could go several ways. If you're looking on the more realistic side, they're just regular people, regular attendees. They didn't want to have um, any kind of communication with others, mainly because, you know, they just wanted to keep to themselves. Some people do that. I would probably be doing the same as well if I was in a large group like that and probably getting annoyed at the fact that, yes, people keep trying to poke and prod them when it comes to them being quote unquote extraterrestrials and then, you know, them saying, no, we're regular humans, you know, don't. Don't accuse me of something else like that. There's that angle. And then the other angle is, who knows? They tr truly been something on the lines of extraterrestrials passing along as best as they could as humans. And then obviously the, the gist was up like somebody was able to figure it out. And then that's when a little bit more and more evidence started to affirm. And then people started asking more questions, trying to take pictures. And then they finally left at that point. But that's it. That's pretty much all the information. Too much coincidence, right, when it comes to that, too. A UFO convention being gathered by lots of people, prominent people as well. And then you have a guy, George Adamski, going over 
uh, aliens from Venus, i.e. Venusians, and the fact that they're there as well, potentially amongst the crowns. Interesting stuff. But if anybody has any more info, anything else I might have missed, then please post those comments below. Also, what do you guys think? Let me know as well. Do you think these were truly Venusians or just awkwardly misidentified humans? that were annoyed at everything going on. Love to hear what your thoughts are too. Right everyone. Thanks again as always. Take care.